Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unbreakable Sentai Podcast. I'm James. Ooh, ooh I'm Darius. And I'm Noah. What episode is this, Darius? 47. Hey, you did it. Yeah? You nailed it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Good. <laughs> Dude, we're closing up on two years-ish of podcasts. Yeah, we started in February, I think. Something like that. I'm just going based on the numbers. Uh-huh. It's been roughly every two weeks, and we're at 47. So. So what number would be? 52. 52. 52. Cool. Yeah. Crazy. My sister, uh, I called her yesterday. I said, hey, what are you doing? And she said she was watching the the Hustables. Huxtables. Exactly. She used the wording, the Huxtables. I was like, do you mean the Cosby show? She's like, she's like yeah. <laughs> I think she's embarrassed to call it the Cosby show. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So she said the Huxtables. <laughs> that's that's I hilarious. Mean, that's fair. That's, that's some fucking Mandela effect bullshit going on now. <laughs> Yeah, because the show's still decent. Yeah, it's a good show. It's just, it's just, just... everything attached with Cosby sucks, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> those actors didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but that word's <laughs> definitely got some muck attached to yeah. it these days. <laughs> <laughs> Rename it the Huxtables. <laughs> <sighs> I've been sick for the last, like, two-ish weeks. So, nice. uh, yeah, that's fun. I'm yeah. better now, but... I'm just letting the, the lovely people who listen to us, Dan. Uh, no, <laughs> that, uh, I love saying, you, Dan. You're our favorite. Us. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> Good doggy. <laughs> She's called Dan a dog. I'm doing the the room bit. <laughs> James. Yeah. So you saw me doing some things this week. This week. Do you know what's coming for you? No. Do you have an idea? I only assume that you're using all this stuff for your D&D game. That's all I have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I just assume with how you make your D&D games full of anime references and whatever, I was like, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Don't scare me. (sighs) That reminds me. I need to show you. um, I need to show you the Christmas present I almost got you at some point. Is it a a fucking wee badge like... Yeah. figure of nami would all her tits out or something yeah but i glued it to a bad dragon uh jerk off because i would toy. prefer robin not nami i'm sure <laughs> okay you want all those hands all over your body it has nothing to do with the hands uh, not, uh robin's is more attractive in every way in my opinion they have the same body and basically the same face it's yeah, all right but not the same personality in mind yeah that's fair and I mean, those hands am i wrong is nami is, is isn't robin a better character than nami I don't know. They're bullshit. <laughs> I disagree. I think Robin is a much better character than Nami. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> they both went through rough hardships. It sucks. But one of them became a thief and the other one became a criminal. It's fine. Yeah. I would say that Nami's a better person. Yeah. But, but I don't know if I'd say she's necessarily a better or worse character. I'm also... I have no idea. I don't... I didn't expect to think about One Piece today, Darius, so I'm not in the mindset to think about everything those characters <laughs> represent. The most I'll give you is that you want those hands on your body. That's all I got to give. <laughs> I don't got more dick to give, Darius. That's all the dick there is. I don't know. I think, I think Robin is underutilized, but most straw hats are, so it's fine. It's true. Yeah, every straw hat's underutilized. Yeah, if your name's not Luffy, you're not doing anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if you're Zoro, you're going to be Luffy's punch bag every fucking arc. Yeah great but yeah guys we got we got a we got a fun fucking podcast to talk about not really <laughs> just blowing my own ass out here <laughs> i did another one of those things where i had some things to talk about and then i just forgot them mm-hmm. and that's great now i asked i asked darius a question earlier actually this week and i'll ask you noah the more items that are on a restaurant's menu do you just start sweating more and more that you know the food's not gonna be that good yeah because like 100 percent yeah, Trisha and I ordered uh, Chinese food, and that's what made me think about it. Because the Chinese food menu is eight hundred pages long, mm. and because it has to be, like they have to have every possible Americanized Chinese food item that somebody might want. Mm. Um, and like the food was fine because I knew exactly what I was getting. Right, like it's I'm getting what I want. But I'm thinking about some of those like American restaurants where they've got like a giant menu that's like a trifold plus the backs, and you're yeah. like. You aren't confident in a single goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was telling uh, James the Cheesecake Factory is a perfect example. Have you ever been to the Cheesecake Factory? Yeah, like forever ago. It's what I told him to. 
Like like I told James, you can order orange chicken to Alfredo. Damn. <laughs> so and it's all just like mid tier, you know. Yeah. A little bit better than a diner. You don't go to you the know, Cheesecake but, Factory for orange chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, why would you, right? <laughs> and yeah, they specialty is cheesecake, so what the fuck you doing making orange chicken? I would argue you probably <laughs> barely want to go there for cheesecake, because if you want to eat cheesecake... I don't even know why you'd go there for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just go there for dessert. But, like, if I'm going to get a cheesecake, right, do I want to spend a $20 single slice of cheesecake, or am I just going to spend $5 buying a sad cheesecake from, like, Meyer, <laughs> you know, and just, like, eat that at my house in the dark like an animal? Probably that one. I get a whole cheesecake at least. Like an animal. Yeah. <laughs> the lights go on and I scurry like the cockroaches, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then also, like, I get scared when I go to restaurants and I see a bunch of, like, specialty items. Mm-hmm. Say, the Fridays, um, Cheetos, boneless wings. Oh, yeah. Like, shit like that is, like, like crazy stuff. Yeah. And I looked up those bones. I wanted to try them. Yep. I was, I was willing to go with you because I knew you were going to want to try them. I but, wouldn't eat them, but I know that you don't want to be sad alone and drag Amy. Yeah. To, to be <laughs> in front of her while and you eat Amy, those. you want to go eat Cheeto? I looked at them. <laughs> people were doing reviews and they were bad, man. They yeah. looked so sad. Yeah, didn't you tell me that they were like, they're not a dry thing? They're like wet? Yeah, it's like they, you can tell they like just sprinkle the wet whatever sauce mixed with cheetos on there is is fucking terrible dude because it has to be easy enough for a teenager to do it right <laughs> without thinking so hold up hold up those are just pre-bagged so you know it's oh it's god fun. yeah it's like whenever you order a mozzarella stick they just go <laughs> <laughs> you <know? laughs> have you ever had an elegant fresh mo- mozzarella stick like made from scratch I, I mean i made some they were pretty good yeah yeah they, they can be done well they I'm just, just I'm asking like yeah. is there restaurants that that do them where it is from scratch and not from frozen shit? I'm sure there yeah. has to be right. I've n- I've never encountered a restaurant that hasn't had like frozen mozzarella sticks. It's just it's an American staple. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> dude. I, we went with Trisha and me with one of our friends like four years ago to a restaurant, and all they because they were like a weird vegetarian at the time, um, mm. but like they all they ordered were mozzarella sticks at the time. And uh, they just, like, they bit into one, set it down, and then just, like, calmly put their hands over their, like, lap. <laughs> and we're like, what's up? Are you good? And they were like, these bitches are frozen. <laughs> and, like, they were still frozen in the middle. Oh, God. And, like, she had to wait for the waitress to come by. And they were like, Gross. oh, my God. We'll get you another one. We're so fucking sorry. And they were like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, on uh, uh, options, like, odds are that these are going to be frozen the next time, too. And mm. thanks. I ordered one thing. It's your appetizer. You <laughs> fucked me. <laughs> but, yeah. Now I want some mozzarella sticks today. Let's go get some mozzarella sticks today. Does uh, Rock Bottom have them? I think they do. We can check their menu. Yeah. I was actually going to suggest you guys wanted to go to Rock Bottom today oh, or yeah. something. They're pretty fucking amazing from the last time I went with my dad. <laughs> and I miss going out to restaurants with the boys. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it'd be nice. The other option is we can go. Um, you know, you know what we did when we made the horrible mistake and ordered a shitload of fucking uh, Outback. Outback Steakhouse. We have seventy five dollars of Olive Garden gift cards. Jesus, <sighs> and we could just. That's so much carbs. It's so shit. Ew. We don't want to use them. We have like, <laughs> t- like I think it's a fifty and a twenty five or some shit, and we're just like. <laughs> or it's like we have we have a 25 and then a 50 dollar one that can go to like there or red lobster or something else but like it's not it's all the shitty restaurants it's all garbage yeah, yeah. and we're like we looked at it we're like we have had these for like a year and then we got one from one of trisha's like friends to like this year for christmas and we were just like we have to do another event when we don't care about the food we just <laughs> have to throw it away you guys get married 2019 yeah okay he always gotta put me on the spot like this I'm, I, I i forget sometimes <laughs> <laughs> so you just feel trisha staring at you yeah right burning me through the wall like <laughs> fucking sauron <laughs> 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 oh i uh i went to go get us uh breakfast sandwiches this morning at mcdonald's right mm. and i forgot to put on my wedding ring like it was just on the table out there and i just forgot do you take it off often when i go to sleep oh. just because i'm afraid it's gonna snap 
because I clearly hit my hand that one time and it cracked the ring. So mm-hmm. I'm like, eh, let me start taking that bitch off. Um, but uh, I told the girl at the counter, like when I was getting the McDonald's at the drive thru, I was like, oh, I like your earrings. She was like, oh, thanks. And, you know, I drove forward and I noticed when I got home, I didn't have the ring. And I was like, babe, I'm sorry. I didn't wear my wedding ring and I told a girl that her earrings look nice. So technically I was flirting with her. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a horrible husband. <laughs> dirty, like, dirty dog. Yeah, Tristan was like, you scumbag piece of shit. I'll oh. never forgive you. <laughs> and then I, I think I looked at her as I was closing the like bathroom door, and I was like, "Yeah, I basically fucked her on the counter." <laughs> like, <laughs> so that was, a, that was a fun time this morning. Nice. Uh, uh, Is that it? Are you got anything else? Uh, no, I was gonna just talk about how canker sores suck, but pretty much that's it. <laughs> Dude, Dan told me that he's only ever had one, and I was like, you lucky Damn, son of a only bitch. only one. <laughs> 39 years of existence. Right. He's not 39. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he's 57. closer to 39 than he is 15. What? I mean, that's that's solid math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at you, Darius. You're closer to 39 than you are to 15. I guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. Well, it, it's not a nice way to put it, but it's a way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I. Being fifteen about. sucked anyway, so I'm happy about that. I don't know. Being fifteen was pretty dope, only because you didn't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah but you also couldn't do anything <laughs> except what you wanted. You don't fucking know what not being able to do anything <laughs> is, man. Who lived in fucking near Chicago? <laughs> you want to live in northern Michigan and talk about not being able to do anything? Because we'll talk. Okay, you're you're you're, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. right. You gotta make your own fun, dude. Yep, that's why we tried to make works bombs, and then immediately got the cops went. Woo! Did you electrocute yourself yet with the lighter? No, no, no it comes on Tuesday. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna fucking talk about that. Uh, Trish and I just bought candles, and we're sick of buying big bullshit. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. like you can never fill the cheap ones, and the nice yeah. ones suck anyway. Um, so we got one of the electric ones because we got Amazon credit, so we said fuck it. Um. And, like, part of me is, like, nervous. You, you know? fool. Like, You're supposed to use the Amazon credit for Valorant points. Yeah, I, I still have some. <laughs> Trisha used her amount, and then I elected to use, like, 15 of mine for that. So I still have 35. <laughs> I'm getting that judge. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, so part of me, of course, has the high school boy brain of, like, when I get that, do I do it? Taze yourself. Do I? <laughs> you know, like, just to, just to know. <laughs> just to really know what it's like. <laughs> But, like, the thing I was looking up is those things when you, like, at the point of spark there, which this makes perfect sense, but, like, it's hotter than a lighter is, which is why it'll always light the wick, Mm -hmm. because it's hotter than the flame at point of zap. And I'm like, do I really want to fucking burn myself with an electric lighter just to see how it feels? The answer is it's probably going to happen at some point. Oh, God. Because this can be... (laughs) You (laughs) fool. You fool. Whatever, Mr. Fucking. Yeah, Trisha do salt. it so you don't get the surprise. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking I'll, I'll I'll have her do it to the back of my neck. You just like close your eyes. And be yeah, like, do it. <laughs> Countdown. <laughs> I'll just tell her to do it, but don't tell me when it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> just, three days later, you just, you know you're you're walking out the bathroom. She's there. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fucking three three minutes before your alarm goes off. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laying on the couch right before I have to get up, and she gets the toes. Zap! But yeah, so I've, I've had a fun two weeks mm. contemplating oh. electricity. <laughs> One of Kaylee's cats woke me up by scratching my foot. Oh, yeah? Because he was out of the covers. Oh, nice. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on that topic, actually, I think I have a big cut on my face, mm. and like it was bigger and more angry and like bleeding a bunch. I think with how I lay on the couch when I sleep there and like let kitty sleep next to me, Mm. I think I rolled my face or body in a bad way and she got mad, (laughs) but I didn't wake up. So clearly it wasn't an issue, (laughs) but it was just like not there. And then the next day I had a massive cut on my face. So I was like, nice noise. (laughs) I know my brother got attacked by one of her cats. Oh yeah. It was like attacked, right? but he like scratched him like right here. (laughs) And there's, like, barely noticeable scar. Like, it's, like, not there. And he's like, I'm deformed. 
<laughs> yeah, he looked at me when he came in and he was like, don't you see it? I'm a monster. <laughs> Dude was going full fucking Phantom of the Opera. Like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, is that James? That's all you? I got. I, I'm a fucking loser, dude. Uh, you pieces of shit. Damn. I want to do something fun. I came up with a great idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Uh, I hope you understand I can't draw. So it has nothing to do with drawing. Uh, you pull out a figure book yeah, and my right. dick gets fucking soft. That's all I'm saying. We <laughs> are going to do a competition. Jesus. I like <laughs> competition. This is going to be an anime trivia. Oh, shit. I made questions where... Oh, that's why you're asking me anime shit. Yep. I made questions where uh, everyone should probably know. <laughs> or, I, I did basic it's questions like, where it's like general anim- anime like most people would know. That's a better way to say it. At work, Darius shook his head and he said, to this day, I can't believe I don't know the difference between Ed and Al. And this must have been why he was looking at <laughs> Yeah, I had to look uh, look him up. <laughs> oh, I love uh, that. We're gonna we're gonna start off with a warm up question. Oh yeah, warm up round. Yeah, uh, Noah, in My Hero Academia, what color is Deku's suit? A blue, B black, C green, D red. I now mean, is that now is that C green. green specifically or? But like, it's green, but there's like red on it and silver. A blue. C. B black. C. C. Yeah. Okay, good. You you got it. <laughs> James in Dragon Ball Z, yeah. what is Goku's birth name? Oh. A Kong. B Son Goku. C Goku Son. D Kakarot. Oh, that'd be uh, D Kakarot, but I really like uh, Kong Goku. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the warm up round. Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys to to. Uh, no, I'm gonna ask you guys to uh, keep track of your points. Don't fuck. Uh, you can use your phones or just use your head. I'll be X and O, don't worry. We're all college educated men, so we can figure out points. I don't know if that I don't know about that. Went to art school. I don't know what a math is. <laughs> uh are you guys ready? Yeah. Uh this is the easy round. Mm. Noah. Mm. In Yu Gi Oh, what three monster cards does Kaiba fuse does Kaiba fuse together? A blue eyes, white dragon, obelisk. And Lord of Dragons, B, Lord of Dragons, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician, C, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Lord of Dragon, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, or D, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. <laughs> this is D. D. Yeah, for Boys Ultimate. You're you're right, James. <laughs> and you, Hakusho. What is Yusuke's signature attack? Uh, that'd be Spirit Gun. Okay. Uh, 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 hang on. Can I guess? I, I, the spirit gun. I, I would like to say this as well. Uh, if you know the answer, feel free to shout out. But if you get it wrong, someone can steal your answer. Ooh. Ooh. I'll yeah. be honest. I, I I did have a small moment where I about pissed myself when you asked a Yu-Gi-Oh question at all. Oh, I was yeah. like, <laughs> like the pure panic of like, I don't know much Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Shit. In Hunt, uh, Noah, in Hunter Hunter, what Fuck. weapon does Gon use in the first arc? A sword... B gun, C fishing pole, D chain. It's fishing pole. C fi- you say fishing pole? Yeah. You are correct. Right. I you like said like first. Gun. <laughs> I was gonna say fishing pole, but I want to listen to him because I was like, did he use something different first and then switch to the fishing pole? Yeah. They, yeah, they could have gone either way. Yeah. James. Yeah. In Inuyasha, Uh-oh. what is the name of his sword? B miasma. Uh no, sorry. A Miasma, B Texaiga, C Naraku, D Ren. Oh, thank God, it's B Tetsaiga. Correct. Because the Ten Saiga is the Shomarus, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was like, I didn't know what they were, but I was like, I hope he didn't put them both on there because I might be fucked. <laughs> All right, we're we're on to the normal round. Ooh. All right, Noah in Naruto, what does he wear on his head before he gets an official hidden leaf headband? A a fake headband. B a bandana, C, a g- goggles, D, hat. Uh, goggles. You are correct. Smart motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just said goggles, and I was like, oh, shit. James, <laughs> in Pokemon, how old is Ash Ketchum? Ten years old. You fucking, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I only know that from, I think, just like, you're supposed to be ten in all the games. Oh. Yeah. 
Noah yeah. and Def Noke, what is Ryuk's favorite food? Apples. Got it. <laughs> James, in Full Metal Alchemist, what limbs do Edward lose? A, right arm, left leg. B, left arm, right leg. C, both legs. D, both arms. Right arm, left leg. Got it. Okay. I, I legit, Did you see the stupid bullshit I had to do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it was right, but I was like, uh. So I did the clap in his blade for the audience that <laughs> can't visually do it. I was like, yo, okay, this is right here. And then it was like opposite oh, I for fucking, his leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, as long as I got the arm right, I was Gucci. <laughs> Noah. Yeah. In Attack on Titan, what do they find inside the walls? Oh, Titans. Oh, you got it. <laughs> uh, James, in Samurai Champu, what does the samurai that Fu is looking for smell like? sunflowers. You got it. Yeah. James is getting shit I wouldn't get. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's all right. You had a couple that I would, like. I like that Yu-Gi-Oh one at first, but oh, I was yeah. like. <laughs> Noah, in Bleach, why, do, why does Ichigo go to the Soul Society for the first time? A, to meet the elders. B, to gain power. C, to find his mom. D, save Rukia. D? Correct. Okay. James, in JoJo Part 2, who is the first pillar man Joseph fights? Santana. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't really a fight, was it? It's, he, he, he fights him. When was he, that, uh, it was, oh. That's in Mexico. Yeah. When he fights Santana. Okay. There was, like, one pillar man who, like, died, like, immediately, though. Because he, like, just came out and the sun killed him, right? I think that's Santana. Okay. Yeah. Because then the other ones is Cars, Wham, and ACDC. Okay. Sorry. S-E-D-C. Yeah. Uh, Noah, in Dragon Ball Super, what color is adult trunks' his hair? A, blue. B, light purple. C, green. D, teal. What are you doing? I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> you can steal it. I wouldn't help him. Uh, light blue. Light blue is not an option. Wait. A blue. Oh, blue. B light purple. Then blue. Yeah. C green. Uh, what do you say? Blue. Correct. Blue. All right. James, and paranoia agent. What do they call the little boy attacking people? A little batter. B little slugger. C little hitter. D bat boy. I think it's B, Little Slugger. Correct. Okay. You said Paranoia Agent, but my brain thought Ergo Proxy, and I was like, I haven't seen Ergo Proxy <laughs> since high school. I'm fucked. I don't even know what Ergo Proxy is. It's not that good. So are you guys tied right now? I think everybody got it. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Missed, yeah. Uh, we, all, we are in a hard round. Nah, I'm scared. Oh, fuck, dude. Noah, <laughs> yeah. in Jujutsu Kaisen, where is the second year uh, Yuta said to be in the first season? A Africa, C China. Uh, no, A Africa, B China, C USA, D India. Utah. That's his name, right? right yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Utah. It's the protagonist of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. <clears throat> America. Wrong. Damn. James, you can still. It's Africa. It's Africa. It's Africa, baby. Uh, James. Yeah. Oh, and, I need to stupid points. <laughs> in Gundam Wing, how many sisters does Ketra have? A28, B30, C26, D31. Fuck me. Is it 28? Smart motherfucker. <laughs> he is a true nerd. He is a true weeb. Don't fuck with this guy. Yeah, I almost did 31 and I'm embarrassed that I got that right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't know that. That's <laughs> nothing, man. And uh, Noah, hmm. in Dragon Ball Z, how does Goku come back to life the second time? A, King Yemma. B, Supreme Kai. C, Old Kai. D, King Kai. Trick question. The Dragon Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Shenron? Hmm? I said Shenron? <laughs> that wasn't an option. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't. Supreme Kai. 
Wrong. Damn. James, you can steal. Oh, King Yama? Wrong. Yeah, I had no idea. Noah, we'll bring it back to you. It's the old... Wait, Correct. Yeah. Correct. Old Kai. Old Kai. Yeah. James, in the original Evangelion, Evangelion series, what number of angel is the boy who friends uh, Shinji? A12, B14, C15, D17. Twelve, wrong. Fuck. Noah, you can still. You want me to read the answers to you again? In the question. Hmm. In the question. In the original Evangelion Evangelion series, what number angel is the boy who befriends Shinji? A twelve, B fourteen, C fifteen, D seventeen. Real talk, I thought there were only 13. So when most oh, of yeah. the answers were not 13, like we're below, we're over 13, yeah. I was like, fuck. <laughs> 17. Got it. Hey. I, I thought there were only 13 because I thought they were supposed to be like the same number as the 13 apostles. I looked it up. And in it the, fucked me. In the series, there's 18 angels. In the manga, there's like 13. Okay. Hmm. So weird. I don't know. Fuck, so he would have been 12 in the manga. I believe Because so. he's the second to last one. So. <laughs> God damn it. Noah, in My Hero Academia, what is Deku's blood type? A, A, B, B, C, A, B, D, O. Or, I want to say O. You're right. <laughs> James, in Naruto Part 1, where is Ninji's Byakugan blind spot located? A, back of head, B, back of neck, C, back of chest, D, back of spine. It's like right here, so I'm trying to think if that would be the back of spine or the base of the neck. So, base of the neck. Correct. <laughs> you guys are tied. That's why I made a lightning round. I was going to say, I think, you, I think you stole <laughs> one of mine and I got that one yeah, from yeah. you. <laughs> and that was like it. Noah. <laughs> You have 30 seconds Damn. to name as many anime series where the main character uses a sword. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Jesus Christ. Honestly, uh, this is a layup. You could probably get to 100. <laughs> I guess. You're starting Fuck. now. Uh, Bleach. Um, SAO. Uh, swords. The main character? Uh, fuck, dude. I don't fucking know. I've seen so many animes in forever. God damn it. Uh, Alita uses a sword, kind of. I'd count it. So, Battle Angel Alita, Battle Angel Alita, uh, Last Order, Battle Angel Alita. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, did Mars you get Chronicle? I think it's at six. <laughs> I mean, did you get Noah? Uh, I, I got like six. three, unless you count like <laughs> all the battle, battle Angel, Angel Alita was the last one you said. <laughs> hey, yeah. he said four different animes with Battle Angel Alina. He, battle get Angel it. Alita was the last one he said. <laughs> yeah. So four. Well, there's three. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the same? So are we? Uh, it's not the same story, but it, it uses the same character. So it uses, it's just different animes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll give you that technology. Last order wasn't animated i don't think so how many was that with, was the, with the three i think you were Two, at six uh, it was like five i think mm. i try add five. however many points i trust you five we'll, we'll use the honor system here james are you ready yes hopefully uh you got something different james yeah i bet <laughs> you have 30 seconds to name as many anime series where the main character uses a gun start Cowboy Bebop, Trigun. Fuck, guns are harder. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, uh, Heat Guy J, <clears throat> Helsing, uh, Golgo 13, Crying Freeman. No, that doesn't count. He uses a knife most of the time. Uh, uh, <coughs> Fuck me. Noah's going to win. Dude, uh, we're going to tie again. Unless you answer one more. Stop. How many is that? <laughs> Five. <laughs> uh, so, what's the score at? 
15 15 yeah <laughs> god i didn't i didn't anticipate for this <laughs> fucking uh, guns fucking guns <laughs> um i guess we're tied and we're both losers <laughs> yeah yeah you're tied and you're even both, winners lose <laughs> you're, you're both losers um <laughs> You get no. You got 15 seconds. Jeez. To do the same the time thing. Time keeps getting halved and halved. This is scary. Go. For what guns. guns? No swords. Oh swords. I'll stop it for you. Hold uh, up. Go. Uh, berserk. <laughs> uh. <laughs> God damn it. Motherfucker. Sword. Why can't I think of anything? Stop. It's not fair. Berserk. James, you're three. Same thing for you, but guns. Three, two, one, go. Do tanks count as guns? No. Fuck. Tanya, Tanya, the Legend of Tanya the Evil. Uh. Uh. <laughs> dude, why is this so hard when Stop. you're on a timer? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Are you guys tied again? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we can only come up with one each right there. Uh, oh my god. I don't know how to do another tiebreaker. <laughs> Dude, I had so many sword ones when you went. Oh, yeah. But when on your second sword one, I didn't think of any. Yeah. And like you said berserk, and I was like, that's a smart move. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, man, I, I, I could do it again. You got eight do, seconds. Uh, you got no, you got 10 seconds. God damn it. Go. Uh, fuck. Uh, Samurai Shampoo. Uh, Goblin Slayer. Uh, go. Stop. You got two. I guess so. James. Same thing. No one's gonna win. No go. one's gonna win. Go. <laughs> Gunsmith Cats, Burn Up Warrior. Fuck Time. Just <laughs> 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 fuck piece of shit. I was. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you guys are. You, you guys are equal power level. Uh, I, don't, we're, we're, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. We're tied for loser dumb, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Your power level is uh is equal. <laughs> I, honestly, no, I was like, <coughs> I was like, that's a good deal breaker because so many anime where people use swords and guns. Yeah. Like, can you think of any other gun ones that I didn't? Psychopaths. Fuck, Psychopaths is a good one. Mm. Um, I was thinking Kentucky Hitmen are born, but he doesn't really use a gun. He no. just gets shot by one, <laughs> at least in the beginning. It's fair. But at the beginning, I'd even say he's less of the main character than the hitman. <laughs> he's yeah. kind of a mook, and he Black does Lagoon. everything. Yeah, Black Lagoon. Uh, Black Rock Shooter. Yeah. Remember the sword one? I was thinking, I was like, yeah, he gave he gave us Inuyasha and Samurai Shampoo. So you were in the, you were in the black with those. Yeah. Damn, that was good. That was fun. Yeah, I, thought, I, thought <laughs> I, was... I felt like a dumbass, but that was fun. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I light, figured. Man. I figured out that I would have to make the question a little bit harder. I was for sure. I was like, James isn't going to be able to figure out Ninji's blind spot. Who yeah, would know I, that? I remember the scene, dude. Exactly. Because <laughs> it's, it's the dude's following him and he can see the blind spot as Ninji's running. Yeah. And I was like, but where is that? Is that the Didn't, neck? Wasn't there like a tuning exam thing? Uh, where he tried Sasuke. to like hit it or something? Save Sasuke arc. So right okay. after the tuning. All right. Somewhere around there. Yeah. And then I was he's fighting the spider guy who's got the the. You hit to throw like kunai's at that spot or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he was if he hit that spot, then he'd be able to disable Neji. And then I was like, I don't even know the, how Goku came back the second time. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, he won't get it. No one would fucking get that shit. I think it it was like the fat Kami that was on Namek. No, it was the old. It was the old Kai. Oh, the guy who's still up there. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, in my head, I was like, Supreme Kai is the name of the dude who's with the red fat fuck. Yeah. But I don't know who resurrects. Like, I know it's not him, but that still leaves me three it, that I don't know. It's just an ass pool of a scene. <laughs> so it's just like, no one's going to remember this fucking ass pool. No. It doesn't matter. Fuck no. 
That's the point. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I, I tried to cater questions to anime animes you guys. I know you guys watched, so I was like, James knows Gundam Wing. He'll know this answer. Yeah, I fucking. I don't know how I know that. <laughs> <laughs> how can I how can I know the number of sisters Quatra has, but I can't name more than fucking ten total anime with a gun? Like what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with me? There's Jesus so many out there. <laughs> like I could have said like Spy X Family, but no, fuck that. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I thought that'd be fun. Uh, I might. Would you guys be down if I do another one? Maybe like based on games or something or movies. Yeah, no, that's that was fun. Uh, I won't, I won't, I won't fuck you. I'll try to figure out what you guys know. How many teeth are in Clanker's mouth in Banjo Kazooie? Uh, I'll punch you in the jaw. How about that, (laughs) (laughs) Vernon? I was for sure. Noah got that my hero Academia (laughs) blood type fast because I I knew for some reason I. uh, like the whole time you were saying that it was just O was like in my head. It's because it's a main part of Stain's arc. Is that right? Yeah, because they talk about their blood types because the blood type is the amount of time that he stuns mm. the person. So they do talk about it a good o amount. O is there. universal giver, isn't it? I think so. so. That's also probably why he's O. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, um, I knew they talked about it, but I didn't remember it. I had to look the episode up to see what if he said his blood type. Yeah. But you fucking you got it. Did you remember his blood type? No, yeah. that would have been fucked. <clears throat> I was I was I would have probably said O because it's the like best. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, O. It's the best. <laughs> plus it like also fits his character exactly. I thought I was gonna get you on a uh, bleach one too, Noah. Yeah. Yeah. No, you definitely could have. So, I was gonna say mother until you said Rukia, and I was like, it's probably Rukia. It's probably Rukia. <laughs> Did you tell you when we were talking about that? No. Just what? how much I hated Bleach at Aizen versus Ichigo. Oh, yeah? Cause Wait, the real fight or the... the Yeah, the real last one. It's such shit. It's bullshit. <clears throat> Every fight like, in the I, end of that I, series I looked sucked. it back up because the way I remembered it sounds so stupid, I couldn't convince myself that it was real. <laughs> and it was? <laughs> yeah. Were you spot on? Yeah, I was like... Ichigo used his final attack, lost his powers, and then... Aizen just regenerates and goes, hi, you didn't kill me. And then the shopkeeper guy comes in and goes, I actually sealed you while you were transforming, so I win. Yep. And then he won. Yeah, great. <laughs> uh, Darius left super early before that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he left during the R and car arc. No, Bount. Bount, Bount arc. Yeah, yeah which, which technically you shouldn't have left at because it's not canon, but yeah. it's still... I didn't know that as a teenager, though. Yeah, but it doesn't he look at him? No, it's it, but it's... uh. It's during the R and car that the line you said, whereas it's like I can't get hit by you anymore. Yeah, I just make fun of that yeah. line because it's dumb. <laughs> he's fighting like a Grim Jaw or some shit, and mm-hmm. he's like, "Oh, if I want to save Orihime, I can't get hit anymore." And then he doesn't. Great. <laughs> and he just <laughs> literally doesn't get hit anymore after getting his shit pushed in, and it's like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> I can't believe it's coming back. The yeah, thousand year blood war. Yeah. Is it he is sh- it just them animating the final arc? I don't know because the trailer it, says <coughs> that it bleach is. finish. Yeah. Age well, I know ago. I know the manga's finish. Yeah, the anime, the anime never anime. did though. Oh, it didn't. Right. Okay. Because so, it got hard. Shaking. So they had to just finish it off. Bleach I, was so popular. <clears throat> it was, but it was starting to get heavy, diminishing shit in Japan. Oh yeah. So Shonen Jump went to him, and they did the like the holy shit move of here you go. You've got four chapters. Jesus. Finish it. And really? he had to finish it. That's crazy. Yeah. But it's it's cool. It's weird, too, because uh, the best friends talk about this a lot. If you look at his difference in art, because, like, Kubo's, like, main thing, or tight, whatever, it was he had beautiful backgrounds. They were great. Like, mm-hmm. they were perfect cityscapes, and they were fantastic. But by the end of what he was drawing, they're, like, not lazy, but you can tell that they wanted him to focus on the characters because he's fighting in, like, empty background rooms and there's no detail. And it's just not what he wanted to draw anymore, basically. So it's like, yeah, he was like, "Eh," and they were like, yeah, we can feel it. You're done. And he's like, good. (laughs) So, yeah, maybe they'll animate it and make it uh, good. And maybe I they'll mean, give us fucking answers. The animation's probably going to be dope. Yeah. I'll fucking listen to goddamn Johnny Young Bosch's Ichigo again. <laughs> one of the only times I like his voice. <laughs> hey, he was good in Space Dandy. 
Yeah, he's good in Space Dandy. He's he's good when he acts. Yeah. He's good as Vash and Trigun because it's not just Ichigo. And it's just like everybody else though goes, Hey, can I have Ichigo? And it's like, no, that's that character. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let him do something different, guys. No, nah, we don't do that. No, fuck no, why would you? We only want Ichigo. Give us Ichigo or give us death. <laughs> fuck. <sighs> yeah, I I might do that again one day for other things. Yeah, I I I think it'd be cool. I wanna I want to fuck you over like that too, like in the nice way that you just did. Yeah. I want to. I want to let you have a nice, fun trivia too. Yeah, I don't know. I might if I do an anime thing again. It might just have to be all hard because y'all get those easy and normal, like, like that. Yeah. So. We were. I did. We were cutting you off before you finished the sentence. How'd you know Nuru had goggles on? Um, I didn't immediately, but as you were listing them off, when you said goggles, I was like, oh. Uh, it just like an image popped in my head. Yeah, it's like yeah, those are goggles. Because he only wears those goggles for what two episodes? Yep. If that is. Yeah. Yep. I remember reading an artist note in like the manga, because um, I, I like bought the original Naruto oh, yeah. runs, and like in the, in the notes he said he made he made the headbands because he's tired of drawing the goggles. Yep. And then they're just <laughs> fucking stuck. That's fair, dude. <laughs> they're easier to draw. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. <laughs> Yeah, the perspective is way easier. Mm -hmm. You just follow the head instead of trying to create blocks on top of the head. Yep. And it's like flat sheet metal. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And honestly, the the cut across it ended up being a dope design for the fucking Akatsuki. Yeah. So, like, it it was a much better move than the goggles. Yeah. I liked it. Naruto was pretty good. Yep. I have no hate for Naruto. Yeah. Got hate for Baruto, but just because the story's weird. Then wait off the fucking wall already. I mean, the story is literally definition of a cash grab. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but then the other gods come down and go, but where did God go? And you go, I killed the god. And they go, oh, no. That's okay. They <laughs> were a lesser to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> And then he looks over and he goes, you two are destined to fight the people because when you fight and kill a god, you are marked. And Boruto... And not Sasuke go, oh no, we did team up to kill that god, the Mark. <laughs> Baruto kills a god? Yeah. It's literally the first arc. Wow. Nice. He's that powerful? Kind of, yeah. God damn. But like, no. He definitely shouldn't be. Yeah, he's not. He's a shit. But he and the other dude are able to, like, bop it. I think it's like he gets the last hit because he's, like. You say not Sasuke as in. As in, it's his Sasuke. I don't remember the kid's okay. name. He's like the white haired dude. Yeah. Okay. He's actually pretty slick, but like, yeah. Um, is, this, is this another character, not uh, Omar yeah, or something? When, <laughs> when you said it immediately, I was like, D- I thought you were just talking about Sasuke, even though you said not Sasuke. Yeah. And then I thought about it, and I was like, wait, do you mean Sarada? And then I thought about it again, and I'm like, but she's not really like Sasuke. <laughs> is it Mitsuki? No, it's not Mitsuki. That's, That's what the guy I was thinking of. Actually. Oh yeah, no, it's not that guy. Then uh, it's oh, Boruto. Just, just type in not Sasuke. Hang on, I'm typing in Boruto rival. This guy, he's got an undercut. Is he important to anybody? Oh, yeah, Is no he like idea. someone's descendant? Uh, no, but he's like an experiment from something. I think. Um, but What's the second left? This one? No, uh, below. Uh, no, the one. It was this the first one that room. <clears throat> first Down. one. No. Oh. So my, my 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 scroll wheel's you, fucked. You, you had it. So the first one on the second. Room. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Oh, no idea. The face marking just reminded me of Conqueror. I He's probably his underling. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, Wait, he's is from that the village is sand. that magnetic sand? Because yeah. that was the. Ka- that the la- that's the last Kage's jutsu. That is the one that Sasori had a puppet of. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool, actually. No, Boruto's super worth it to read, like a hundred percent. Because like this is a dope scene, and I think this is chapter one, and it's just showing them like near the end of the series because they didn't think it would go super long, and they were like, "Fuck, these friends have to like set aside some bullshit," and you were like. Fuck, this art is stellar. We'll never get there, but that's dope. And then mm. they did. So, like, this is their version of a curse mark, and it's from when they kill a god. So they have to deal with that bullshit. But it's good. But, yeah, no, I actually really like his design. He's super He's super cool. And he's just kind of edgy, 
but it's because he doesn't know shit. Sure. And I don't know. I, I dig him. Yeah, if uh, he's like Conqueror's son or something, that'd be dope. I think that's his name. Conqueror. I think it is. The puppet guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Puppet Masters are t- sick as fuck. It's a dope jutsu, and it sucks that it doesn't matter because it's not called Rasengan. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. It's, it's, they're not, he's not going to like experiment with it more of the possibilities of that. Absolutely. It's over. I hate to jerk it off. No, I don't. I hate to jerk it off so much, but I think that's one of the reasons why like Jujutsu Kaisen and like My Hero or Hell's Paradise to a lesser extent are so good. It's because there's a shitload of abilities and they never like fall behind. Mm. And like, because like. They're always like relevant in some way. Exactly. Because even like the shitty characters yeah, in My yeah, Hero are Even decent. like Hell's Paradise when they literally don't have powers, they're still relevant. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, well, yeah, the powers are helpful, but if you fucking cut good. Yeah. Cut good. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like in Valorant when people bitch about abilities. It's like, yeah, but you could have just shot him in the head. Yep. Click heads. Yeah. <laughs> then the abilities are moot. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, shit's so good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Manga's great. You got anything to talk about, buddy? I don't know. Christmas was fun. Christmas was fun. I was gonna ask you what you got. I got money. Hey, <laughs> money's good. Yeah, money's always good. <laughs> Like 150 bucks. Man, so that's, that was fucking, nice. that's nice. Yeah, it was chill. My brother Kaylee, his girlfriend, and I should probably you can uh, watched uh, the Harry Potter movie. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys uh, laugh your fucking uh, asses off at what am I, Hedwig? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> uh, I think I may have been looking at my phone. Unfortunately, during that rip. <laughs> well, that, that was a deleted scene. So, did you guys watch? Oh, was it a deleted that, I think scene? that was yeah. a deleted right, then, scene. Uh, that, that's, you told me that shit does not happen in the book. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? Yeah, that was book. That was movie two. Because that's the Chamber of the Secret when everybody's like, "Fuck you, Harry. You're a fucking wiry cunt." Because <laughs> they're British. <laughs> <laughs> parcel tongue. Parcel tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, baby man, <laughs> baby 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 man. Oh yeah, that sounds like super fun. Yeah, it was chill. They had to work during like the week before mm. uh, New Year's, so I gotta like watch the dogs in the morning and stuff. So you just gave them good pets. Yeah, that's good. Fuck, that's good. Yeah, I didn't get to see no dogs. Super chill. Didn't get to see no dogs. <laughs> Should have went to Michigan. Should have went to Michigan. I bet I was dead. <laughs> True. Cause saw a pig then too. I know. Why are pigs good? <laughs> pigs real good. How's your Christmas, Darius? Oh, it's fine. I woke up at four thirty in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what happens when children exist, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh right. Yeah. There they banging on the door like the, fuck <laughs> the sad part was that I went. I, I slept downstairs <laughs> too, cause I had really bad gas <laughs> it was from all those fucking crab legs oh yeah <laughs> damn so like it was 4 30 he comes down it's like it's christmas and i'm like yeah <laughs> farting I guess. shitting yeah. everywhere <laughs> <laughs> sad to see your city <laughs> <laughs> because uh we did christmas we did it on christmas eve for him so yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's like Christmas Eve morning. Uh, I is when so. he opened presents yeah. at. Okay. So that's uh, the crab legs are fresh. Yeah. You know. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. You put away a couple pounds of crab legs. Oh yeah, totally. But other than that, it was uh, it was cool. Nice. Just chilled the whole time and played a lot of games and saw Spider Man. Nice. Mm-hmm. Fucking love Spider. Fuck, oh we, we, could, we could talk about Spider-Man. Oh, my yeah, God. Oh, I want to make love to that movie. It was so <laughs> good. It was so good, dude. They, the, the, the respect they had for the audience and for the characters. Oh. Shit, Fucking Matt Murdock. <laughs> they put they put Matt Murdock in there? And they, they showed him use his powers? Mm. Oh, my. Thank you. Thank you, Marvel. You know, it's Marvel. Sometimes you drop the ball when it comes to Black Widow and uh, the Eternals. But sometimes you slam dunk that shit when it comes to Spider-Man. So just keep making the good shit. Stop making the bad shit. (laughs) Do you think the Eternals are going to be relevant? 
to like the MCU. I haven't seen the movie. I don't know. I, don't know I, I, I heard that at the end of the movie, one dies and a couple of them just fuck off. Oh, yeah. Sounds about right. So like, there's like a hand, maybe like two to four left on Earth. And that's all the famous people. Or I don't know. Not like Angelina Jolie famous, but like the middle girl. Yeah, right. I don't know exactly yeah. who was left. I've never seen it, so. <clears throat> uh, I, I think they're going to pop up. Here and there. Here and there, but they're not going to be as important as. Maybe like an Avenger. Yeah, I think um, apparently Kit Harington, uh mm-hmm. Jon Snow in yeah. there. He's in there, and they're they're setting him up to be the Black Knight. And I don't know what that is. I don't. It's just a character that uses a sword. Okay. Oh yeah, because he picks up the ebony blade or whatever in like the post credit scene, right? Yeah, he picks up the blade and I like Kit Harrington. So. And a uh, yeah. blade. You hear Blade's voice say, "Are you sure you're ready to do that? To pick that up?" So, so he's gonna be a vampire killer. Maybe Blade might train him. I don't know. But I was telling uh, James that I really hope that since they're introducing Morbius yep. into the MCU. Yeah. That Blade can hunt Morbius in his first movie or something. Cool. Yeah, that would be really dope. I yeah. feel like that's easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a fucking vampire hunter. Have him hunt Morbius. Who so. do they team up to fight though? Because Morbius isn't necessarily a bad guy, uh, if I remember the comics right. No, nah, he like flip flops. I think. Yeah. Uh, oh shit! Who doesn't in their comics? Now that mm-hmm. like now that I say that, right? Like. It's a comic book movie. They don't need to fight anybody. They just fight each other, and then they both live at the end. That's true. That was Civil War. Why did you uh, say that name? <laughs> Martha! <laughs> Dude, we just make that joke in Dormant. Oh, yeah. We have to rewrite a flash drive or, like, a floppy disk with a name, and I, like, solve the puzzle, and I'm like, it's Martha, and then Darius just looks at me. He's like, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am ready for Oscar Isaac Moon Knight, though. Yeah. That's going to be dope. Yeah. That better be like a continual thing mm-hmm. and not just like a TV show thing. Yeah. Uh, I would love to see Moon Knight fuck with Daredevil because they're both like street level, yep. just like punchy punch guys. So uh, it's weird. He like Moon Knight's like under a god, but he's still like, I don't know, just like a dude trashing jobbers. It yeah. sounds like. Well, from, from what I understand of Moon Knight, I don't, I don't know that much about him but we don't know if the god shit's real or not he could be crazy and he just is like thinks that yeah or it is real sure. which is gonna be super cool for them to experiment with that in the series mm-hmm. of how if he is crazy or not but uh i watched the first two episodes of hawkeye and hawkeye never shot one arrow and sadly i'm gonna have to watch the rest of the series of hawkeye just because kingpin's in it but uh, I'm not too excited to watch the rest of Hawkeye, but we'll see what happens. So Marvel's dropping the ball and slam dunking at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Masters of uh, Multiverse of Madness looks like looks good. it could be good. Doctor Strange is a super cool character you can do stuff with. Mm-hmm. And the way, oh my God, I love how Spider-Man ends. I love how Spider-Man ends. Because it's like, Peter, you can't be happy. Your life is shit because you're Peter Parker. <laughs> and I want it. I don't know why. But I, I like that. <laughs> You're broke. You gotta fucking get your GED. And you gotta take pictures for money. Yeah, people have never seen or never been as happy as when they see Spider Man take L's. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> but that's what makes Spider Man great because Spider Man, <laughs> people love Spider Man because he is like super relatable because mm-hmm. he's just a kid trying to do shit. He's not a fucking Tony Stark level motherfucker or a Captain America level motherfucker. He's just trying to make his life work with these powers. Yep. And he has relationship issues and money problems. Who can't relate to that? So. Yeah. I I get it, but I also don't get it. I've never understood how Peter Parker was so smart and was so poor. Yeah. It just doesn't fucking make sense. You know he'd be in that like, cryptocurrency. Goddamn right, dude. He'd be a crypto bro. <laughs> well, it was easier to write when he, in the 50s or the 60s to make him poor and smart. You really can't put moonlighting as a vigilante under... Your, what uh, is that? said you can't really put moonlighting as a vigilante under work experience. 
Well, if, uh, I think Moonlight's an ex soldier, maybe. I said Moonlighting. Oh, Moonlighting. Uh, Noah came up with a good uh, idea about the new Spider Man movie. He he said that uh, they might introduce Black ha- Black Hat mm-hmm. because he Peter has to pretty much redevelop his relationship relationship with MJ. So okay, so here's the thing I was gonna ask about the movie because I didn't see it, but I don't care about spoilers, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna watch it with Trisha maybe this weekend. She, she wants to watch it, so I'm like, oh cool. Um, I know that he straight up is like, I don't. Like, no one knows who I am anymore. Mm. He's just going to roll up and be like, oh, what's up, Ned, at college? Oh, he tried you like... That in the movie. Oh, like, yeah. he went to the coffee shop, and then he saw, like, a Band-Aid on MJ. He's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't actually tell you guys. Mm. Yeah. That's fair. But does he at least, like, just... He, he, he has the opportunity to roll up, though, and be like, we can hang out. I'm a new person you've never met. Peter Parker. Yeah, right? yeah. He like, he started. He he like did the first step of like rebuilding their relationship at the very end. Okay, cool. Yeah. That yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like he literally is not allowed to let anyone who knew know. He can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. He's just got to rebuild. Square bombs. Yeah. yeah. Which is dope. Yeah, I, I appreciate that because like now he's not friends with Doctor Strange anymore either. He can't just go mm-hmm. ask him for help. So. What Spider Man is? Spider Man is what? Is a friend of Doctor Strange. Yeah, Spider Man is a friend of Doctor Strange. Yeah. So then, could he just like swing there and be like, "Hey, it's me, like, Peter Parker, oh, Spider Man." Hello, Spider Man, who I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> a, building a relationship with Doctor Strange should be easy because yeah. you you can just say some magic magic shit happened. Yeah. And he has no choice but to believe you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that relationship's easy to rebuild. That's true. <laughs> Fuck! I, I keep trying to type something in the the notepad, and I'm fucking stupid. But I, I love the redesign and a rework of how they did Electro. <clears throat> Electro is cool. It's so much better than him fucking falling into eels and then fixing his teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was they let Electro have like more of her like personality and let yeah. Jamie Foxx have more fun with it. Yeah. Because I always felt like Jamie Foxx wasn't allowed to act in that, you know? Because like yeah. at, when he's he's a nerdy piece of shit, which is fine, and then he completely just goes insane once he falls into the thing. And you're like, okay, so he doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's, and uh, they, Doc Ock was fucking perfect as well. Mm-hmm. Alfred Molina. He's, my, he's the best, dude. Yeah. I love Alfred Molina. <laughs> so they, they did excellent with that movie. I think it's, I think it's the best out of three so far. It's it's great. That's fair. So, and then black suit Spider Man, baby, some the symbiotes there. Yep. Yeah, give it to me. He's depressed right now. He's trying to find his way. And he'll get that get that black know. suit on him. I was gonna I was gonna say like he doesn't have anything to be angry about right now though. Well, well, other than his Aunt May dying <laughs> and him well, like, not having any friends at, at all. But he closed the like it wasn't just something that happened to him like he fought through to like get past that already that's fair so it's it, as of how the movie is it seems as he's as if he's worked through that yeah like bit. he's he has problems but he doesn't have like the rage issue that's fair yeah i mean but still it's it's sad not having any friends yeah and not having anybody Speak for yourself <laughs> yeah but if i do see like the next movie he's just angry at the world i'll be like this is not like there's yeah, it doesn't dissonance jive. here. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I wouldn't say angry at the world. I just I said like just kind of depressed of yeah. like yeah. lonely. Well, I, don't know. I guess broke. I guess what I'm trying to say is at the end of this movie, he seemed hopeful. Yeah, if he's on a drunken bender at the beginning of the next one, it'll feel out of left yeah. field. Yeah, um, uh, like but if they do how it was in the first Spider Man movie where uh Spider Man was like taking pictures and like. Uh, JJ was not showing him any respect, and like literally, he was living paycheck. To, he's trying to get paid for these fucking pictures he was taking, and, and JJ was dicking around, not showing him any respect. Like mm-hmm. that alone would make you sad. It's like I'm just trying to pay my rent. Yeah. Can yeah. you? Yeah, but can, I want them to show that. Yeah, they uh, they, they will. Like, Aunt May's still dead. I'm angry. Yeah. It's like and they work, they got JJ now. That. Yeah. So they can they can build a relationship toward those two either. Love you, JK also. Simmons. Love you, JK Simmons. Do you think they made this story go this way because they knew that Edith was way too strong for him to have? 
Oh, just Stark and, tech. Yeah. Stuff. And he wouldn't. Yeah. He just it. Uh, he wouldn't be Spider Man if he could use it. Mm-hmm. I think you know so. What I, mean? I think so. I, I, oh, you get a feel security like kind of planned. net. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah I guess. I guess I should say like, that it's completely the reason. Yeah, I think it's. I think they did what they did with Spider Man because Tony Stark was already a part of the picture. Yeah. And because he was out of it, they can return to old Peter. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to watch it. Yeah. Should be good. Um, I think Doctor Strange comes out what in May, or did they push it to November? I don't know. I can't think about the trailer, like the the release date on it or yeah. whatever. You know. But I'm I'm super excited. Sam Raimi's fucking doing it's Doctor so Strange. Weird. It's gonna be fucking dope, man. Yeah, the director changed like twice, didn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be fucking dope. Cause Sam Raimi's a good director. Yeah. I just care. I don't care what he does, but I need Bruce Campbell in there. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, of course he's gonna be in there. I just love that dumb thing that we were uh, talked about where he's like, eh, if he wants to make a good movie, he'll put me in it. <laughs> 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 like that's the perfect friendship level of dickhole yeah. like that you have with somebody. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. All of his best movies, I'm in there. <laughs> Spider Man one, Spider Man two, <laughs> fucking Army of Darkness. <laughs> like <laughs> Uh, yeah. Good job, Marvel. Yeah. You guys ready to talk about Lucifer and Bisca Hammer? I yeah. am. I always am. Ah. Yeah, I was telling Darius, I became you with Hell's Paradise. Oh, yeah. I wrote notes to be safe. Dang. I know. I did, dude, it came over me this morning. I was like, yeah, well, you didn't write some notes. <laughs> <laughs> when James like, first told me about this manga, he was like, yeah. You know, it's these people that have magic and they're like trying to stop the world from being destroyed. And I start reading it, and like the first page is a lizard <laughs> talking yeah. to him, and he like just throws the lizard out the window. And the the title doesn't say Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer; it says like some Japanese shit. Oh, she knows Samadare. So I I did it. I stopped reading it and like asked James <laughs> a couple days later, like, "Did you send me the right thing, man? Because <laughs> I don't think this is Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer." He was like, "Yeah, it's the right thing." So I, I, I kept reading it, but uh, that was that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped reading it because it starts. It's like a weird, just awkward, cold start. Yeah, because he's like, <laughs> he wakes up and sees, uh, uh, oh fuck, what's its name now or whatever? Noi. He wakes up and sees Noi, and the lizard's like, "I need your help to become a knight," and he just looks at him, and then he looks out his window and is like. Yeah, okay. That's the start of the day, I guess. <laughs> yeah, chapter one uh, is apparently the only thing I didn't write up uh, anything about. Yeah. Fuck me. I think just chapter one is when them just meet and him telling him he needs to do shit. Yeah, and he's like, you can make a wish. And you, you he's like, nah. Yeah. I'm good. That yeah. Sounds uh, like a, that sounds like a trap. He has a pretty realistic reaction because he's, he's like, I'm just hallucinating. This is this can't be this real. This lizard is not talking to me. Doesn't he throw him out the window? Yeah. yeah. He says he goes back. He's like, "How dare you throw me out the window? I'm a knight." <laughs> and he's just like, eh, "I figured it would work." Yeah, goddamn. Then the lizard just keeps following him. He's like, "Yeah, this lizard's about me." Oh shit! No one can see him. Fuck! I am hallucinating. Yep. <laughs> and then doesn't he notice the ring? I think. No. He says something about like. So what can I do? Or like, what's my power or whatever? Right. Or like, how am I supposed to fight? And then he like notices the ring. And he's like, yeah, you kind of have light telekinesis, fucker. Yeah. Instantly he lifts up his teacher's skirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the he has telekinesis just inside that bubble. Correct. So it's like a territory of telekinesis he has? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. They call it like a domain. Yeah. yeah. So uh, just, yeah, in the original Yu, Yu Hakusho... Uh, dub. They call it territories. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like calling territories because I thought it was cool. Hey, it's territory is fair. <laughs> you Hakusho poisoned you. It's fine. Yeah, it did. It did. Hey, man, if you want to call the domains in Jujutsu Kaisen territories, I bet the word that translates into those is fairly similar. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, and then doesn't she look over and be like, "Did you fucking see?" And he's like, "Thumbs up." <laughs> like. <Yeah. laughs> I, I thought she was going to be just, like, a fucking random character. Yep. But she turns out that she's kind of a side character. Yeah. Because she's... Because uh, then... The older sister. Of, of the Asahina. Princess. Yeah. 
And, uh, yeah, so he fights his first monster. And Noi's like, you gotta fucking run, boyo. And he's like, what do you mean? You're weak. You can't do shit. You can't fight. He's like, <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, yeah, Asahina just shows up, kind of beats its ass. And then there's a, there's a fun moment where Noi, the lizard, is like, ah, he's a piece of shit. Help me, princess. He, he used his powers to look up a girl's skirt. And she's like, oh, did you see mine right there? And he's like, rabbits or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, don't fucking say what they are, <laughs> asshole. Uh, one like, thing I was confused about. Yes. Do all the animals just know the princess? Yes. And do the princess knows all the animals? Yes, kind of. Um, the princess. Yeah, I guess she does know all the animals. Yeah. Yeah. Do we know why she knows? Does she have a past life or something? Or You'll understand. They'll explain it. Because I guess the best way to put it is that she is not the princess. Okay. Somebody is the princess. <laughs> okay. It, it, it's, 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 yeah, don't worry about it. it. It's like, I think you'll see it next time. Yeah. Uh. So, yeah, after she saves him, he pretty much falls in love with her. Not really. Or does he ever just appreciate her power? He, he Well, right there, he just appreciates her power. And then he, in the next chapter, it's like all trust building, kind of. Because he's like, I'm not fighting. This is bullshit. I'm good. You're mm-hmm. clearly strong enough to handle this shit. And I'm not. Later. And he just goes home. And just starts living his life. And his, the lizard is like, you can't fucking do that. You gotta fight. You're part of, the, you're a knight. And he's like, mm-hmm. Why do I have to be? If the world gets destroyed, why do I fucking care? Yeah. Ooh, the world's gone. Eh. <laughs> and the lizard's like, that's a dire thing to say. And he's like, yeah. Is this post after she showed him the hammer or pre? Pre hammer. Pre hammer. Okay. Um, and then she catches him at the college, and is like, yeah, let me show you something. And Noah's like, no, he's a coward. He's not strong enough to see it, god damn it. <laughs> and they get to the roof, and uh, she's like, that's the biscuit hammer. It's gonna <laughs> crash into the world and blow the whole fucker up. And he's like, oh, well, then we literally can't fight. Then <laughs> I can't fight that. We're yeah. good. Give up. End of a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, nah, I trust you. You're gonna help out, and you're gonna do whatever. Uh, and then she jumps off of the fucking roof of the college. Yeah. And he has to jump off to save her. And he's like, uh, I need to use my domain. I could barely slow myself down, and this is two people. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and he slams into the ground, but he's fine. And she's like, see, I trusted you. You're gonna be my knight. Fuck you. And he's like, yeah, all right, you broke my will. God wills it. You're, you're in. <laughs> and uh, she's like, don't worry. I'm going to destroy the world. Yeah, I'm a crazy bitch as well. Yep. And is that when he falls falls for her? Because yeah, she's yeah. a crazy yeah. bitch. But it's still not love yet. Yeah. No, it's just like I, hope and respect. I, I can't understand you because I'm crazy as fuck too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. The world is pretty shit. If it goes, I don't really care who does it. Um, But then that's, I think, just the end of chapter two. And then they start training after that. Yep. Right? We get a good montage. Because, um... The ring power represents is is like just equal to your physical power as well, like how fit you are. Yes and no. It's your life force. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily mean like whatever, like I, that your physical strength. Is I thought whatever. that's why they were like running together. Well, they're running together because they need to run so that Yuji can actually not get punched to death. <laughs> you know, like it's more of a I need to run because I know I can't fight these things, and if I can't outrun them, then I'm dead. Mm. So. I, I kind of hate and like the designs of the monsters because they, they, they're they super simple and they look so derpy, mm-hmm. but the derp mm-hmm. is kind of hilarious. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just like so, like like that fucking fish from Spongebob where like he's like, half his face is like oh, to the side. Yeah. Flounder. Yeah. And he's like, Spongebob, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they're, they're not intimidating. No. Not not intimidating at all. But it almost makes them more intimidating. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, you're you're right. That second one totally is like the fucking pyramid, like the flounder from SpongeBob. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Uh, 
So that one rolls up. Uh, what? The first one has one eye and the second one has two, right? I think. Uh, I think so. Yeah, because the number of eyes kind of is the number of monster it is, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she explains to him that mages are trying to destroy the world or something. A, a mage. A mage? I think his name is Magus or, or something. Magus. Like which I, I, I don't know if I believe her. I don't know if I can trust exactly what she's saying because there's no proof. It's just he say, she say at this point. Yeah. And this bitch is crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, but also Noi says that that is true. I don't know if I can believe him either. Why not? He's nice. <laughs> so, oh well, God. here's the thing, right? He's nice and he thinks she's insane for wanting to destroy the world. So why wouldn't you believe Noi? Because Noi has a, he's trying to save the world. He's trying to become a knight with use was his name to become a knight as well. Yeah. So I I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not getting all the information. That's fair. That's that's a better way of saying that. Yeah, because to, to be fair, you're not. Yeah. So Yeah, totally. Cause yeah, how how so can is, you trust her when so she's like, I'm a blow up. Magus this too. is making these monsters and sending them after the knights. Yeah, I don't know what his name if his name is Magus, but yeah. Okay. And he also Isn't summoned it Animus? that. I think it might be Animus. I don't know. I'm terrible with names. That's I'm the funny. wrong person to ask for names. Mm. And he also made the hammer? Yes. That's what the princess is telling him as well? Yep. And But we don't know his motivation for destroying the world? Or Correct. did they say that too? No, they, they don't talk about that yet. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, these monsters are coming. They're here to fuck the day. Yeah. And uh. Yeah, and the knights and the princess are the only ones that can fight these monsters. So basically, if enough knights die, Animus is guaranteed a win. And he will destroy the world. Is one, kind of where we're at. One fishy thing is the girl that sees him save the cat Mm-mm. when she falls in love with him, just like immediately like that. Yeah, I don't trust that bitch. Yeah. Nope. She's uh, a gold digger, dude. She, she just wants to fuck him. She fell way too hard, and it's just like all over him. I I think that might that may be a trap or something. Yeah, but it's a harem. That's how that works. Yeah. But to be fair, though, if you right, if 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 you were chilling in the world and you saw a person fly down and do something and then pretend to play it off, wouldn't you be like, well, that's kind of that's kind of hot. Let's let's uh, let's at least get it in there. Uh, I don't uh, I don't know if I like. And she did say her dream was always to, like, fuck a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I mean, she, she's fine for now. Mm. I just don't trust her. Yeah, she came on a little too strong, and I think there's there's something salt. There's still like there's a little bit of salt there. Whereas like, I'm taking everything she says with a grain of salt. I don't trust her. That's totally fair. Uh, that's chapter four. We skipped three, but it doesn't really matter. It's more training, and then you find out that Yuji's or Yuhi's grandfather is a fucking pile of shit. All the chains. I like the representation uh, of the chains. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, the the whole thing that the, the princess, too, said is that, like, Yuhi, because when they jump off the building, she's like, Yuhi, you can fly higher than I can. Like, believe in yourself, motherfucker. Like, and he's like, oh, shit, I guess I better start believing in myself. Jesus. Mm-hmm. And then in chapter three, you find out that his granddad's a massive pile of shit who basically beat the shit out of him mentally mm-hmm. and kind of physically because he chained him up in a fucking closet <laughs> for days on end. Yeah. For trying to say he had a friend. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that's a bad man. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I get why Yuhi kind of hates the world. Yeah. I he, would too with that piece of shit. Yeah, he, he was fucked up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so chapter five or chapter four is when that girl comes up and she sees him save a cat with his power. Because he's like, I'm not an asshole. And that cat, like somebody was a piece of shit and put a cat in a box in a river. <laughs> um, and the girl's like, let's go on a date. And he's like sure i guess well no she says let's get married he's like no she's like let's get engaged he's like no she's like let's go out to dinner he's like fine (laughs) you 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 started strong i guess i can allow that (laughs) and then they get done with the movie and she's like oh let's go to a love hotel and he's like no (laughs) jesus lady and she's like and she you know knocks it down to going to a cafe to talk about the movie afterwards Mm. And uh, I think that's when she's like, oh, uh, you were talking to, like, that girl, like, Asahina. What were you talking to her about? And he's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. And when he's in the bathroom, he's like, well, I guess I could kill her if I have to. Yeah, that's when you see his crazy side. Yep. It's like, and he's, like, dead serious. And Lizard look, is looking at him and was like, those are 
Those are crazy eyes. Yep. You can't kill this girl. What are you doing? He's like, uh, I guess I don't have to kill her, you know? Yeah, because cause he's like, well, I need to protect the princess, worst case scenario. And he's like, yeah, but we never said you had to keep this a secret, dude. It doesn't matter. Holy shit. <laughs> and then noise, a quick thinker, and is like, well, if you kill her, she's one of the princess's humans, if you think about it. And then you'd be like killing her property. She'd be pissed. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. Which is uh, super interesting for a main character to have a side like that yeah most main characters are not trying to kill other people at yeah the drop of the hat so and it's not even that he's like oh i guess i i'm gonna kill her it's more of like a if i have to i will and yeah. it's like damn so you're not just outright a murderer it's if it comes to it I'd be ready. Yeah, he's not a Naruto, that's for sure. Exactly. <laughs> and then he just goes out and like kind of finishes the date a little bit and is like, ah, I'm kind of tired. I'm going to go. And she's like, oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Then he goes home. Um, yeah, chapter five is you find out that he's like mentally weak and he like tries to jump the river and he fails and hits the water and gets super duper sick. And he's like, Ugh, I've got a cold. And then... Uh, you learn that that's when um, he caught a cold once because his grandpa locked him in the closet with chains and was like, I'm a piece of shit. Don't have friends. They'll fucking stab your heart. Don't have it. Or it's don't have enemies. They'll stab you from the front. Don't have friends. They'll stab your back. Yeah. Like don't have anything. You're a piece of shit. Don't talk to people at all. Yeah. Learn to be self-sufficient. Is that when you find out about his parents? Uh, You find that out in a little bit. Oh. that's when he goes back home. Um, but no, this is when the he even tells the princess. He's like, hey, uh, I need you to tell me to do stuff. Oh, yeah. Because he gets a phone call at the beginning of this chapter. And the, well, grandpa. And his grandpa's in the hospital. And he's like, oh, I've got a part-time job. And the princess is like, I didn't know you have a job. I don't. <laughs> well, shouldn't you go if you order me to? And she's like, finish your food. Like, she's just like, ugh. <laughs> like, Jesus, man. And uh, so he's sick, and he's like, I literally need you to tell me to go do this. Because, like, it's not because I suck. Like, it is. But, like, his chains are way too strong on my heart still. I need you to, like, basically give me power to be able to go do this visit. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's like, I want that for you as a person, not as an order. And then she's like, but get better. He's like, oh, is that, you know, oh, is that as a friend, too? And she's like, nope, that's an order, bitch. Get better. And he's like, as you wish, you know. I should mention, when he tries to jump the river, he fails because he sees the chains on his ankle. Yeah, and she breaks the chains. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he's asleep, and he's, like, having a nightmare about mm-hmm. his grandpa. And she shows up in the dream world and is like, fuck this, loser. Yeah. You're mine. It's also when she has her great speech. It's like a scene that I remember because it's a really like well drawn couple panels where she's like, "If anyone messes with you, I'll just pluck them from the planet. It doesn't matter, man." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, that's pretty soothing." And like <laughs> the image is her giant hand moving towards a city, and yeah. then it's just fucking destruction underneath as she just like grabbed a whole city out, and it's like, "Fuck, that's a good panel." <laughs> like I've never seen a panel like that before. Nice. Uh, so Yuhi decides to go home, um, and Noi's like, you still have your wish. You know you could wish your grandpa was better. And he's like, nah, I'd almost rather wish you to kill his ass. And Noi's like, this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Why he's is crazy. He a knight? <laughs> he's fucking, he, he's fucked up, man. Oh, yeah. And granted, at this point, knowing what you know, because, oh, he, this is when he, he goes into more detail hmm. about, uh, his dad was a dope-ass detective with a partner yeah, and they were trying to figure out like, uh, like some Yakuza shit or something like that. Organized crime, something. Yeah. I think drugs or something. Maybe. Yeah. And, uh, fucking, they found his dad murdered by his partner. And like, that's just it. Dad, daddy's dead. And then on the funeral day, his mom just leaves. Yep. That never comes back. Yeah. And he's, he hasn't seen her since. Yeah. So he ends up going with his grandpa at age 10 or something. His grandpa, lives in the boonies i think yeah he lives out in like the the michigan of japan <laughs> yeah and um his grandpa doesn't want him to have any friends because he's scared to lose his, his grandson yep 
Just Which like is he like lost his son. Yeah, because you can't like you can be pissed off at the grandpa, but yeah, he's fucking going through losing his son too. Yeah, and it's like yeah, I guess if you want to try to make sure your grandson doesn't go the same way he did. And yeah, he tells him never become a detective. Yeah, because you he I think what was saying that he was like, oh, I always loved what my dad did. I was I respected it. I wanted to be a cop too. And he's like, don't you fucking dare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like it was out of protection, but also out of like. I'm angry that my son is dead. Hmm. And it's like, yeah, that seems like a believable character. That's just, that's not just like Itachi level. I'm killing my family because it's the only way to go, whatever. And then what what also pisses him off is that his grandpa is living with his aunt and his cousin. Yep. And they're like, oh yeah, he's great. And he's like, no, he's not great. He fucked me up. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. And they're like, no, he's, he's fine. And then he eventually goes to visit him. And he visits with his niece or whatever. Yeah. And um, his grandpa is like, I'm sorry for treating you so badly. And y- Yuki is his name? or y- Yuhi. 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 Yuhi says, you don't just get to say sorry. After was like, 10 years of that shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, it doesn't just go away. And, like, his grandpa at this time is like. On the floor, yeah. head to the ground, like yeah. oh. Japanese apology. Yeah, the the serious Pasture. apology. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, you you he like fucking slams his hand on the wall and is like, "You don't get to say sorry to me, like you f- fucked me, like you know, like you were saying." And he leaves and he like runs and it's raining and he's fucking pissed off and he's yelling at like God, and then he trips and hits the water and he looks up like a fucking cr- young. Like four year old crying, and he wishes for the lizard to save his grandpa. Yeah, because he's like, yeah, I don't want to be this piece of shit, but I was fucked up, man. <laughs> and you're like, damn, you he like, you really are kind of a good guy, but you're fucked up. Yeah, you know, and it's like that's that's believable. I'd believe the hell that you got royally beat to shit like this. Yeah. And then uh, after that, he goes back home. Mm-hmm. And he's just sitting outside chilling. Oh, uh, real quick, there's a dope scene in the train ride there too, where like you, he kind of says like, "Yeah, whatever." Like when he says that I'd, I'd rather kill him. Like you see him kind of smiling at it, but then you see what Noi sees, and it's like a kid crying right next to it. Mm. And Noi's like, "That's the most depressing shit I've ever heard." And he's I- like, "Why? What did you like? What did you see when I you said that?" And he's like, "I saw a crying boy." I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. And it's like, because Noi's not just like, I'm your spirit animal. He's a real, like, thing. So he's mm-hmm. like, you're fucked, dude. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know how to help this boy. Like, <laughs> this boy needs to be ready to throw down his life. And his yeah, life one thing sucks. I like about about uh, their relationship is that they're, is not, they're not best friends. They're two totally different people. Yeah. Who, in my opinion, don't belong together. No. Not at all. (laughs) But they're just forced to be together. (laughs) Like, their personalities don't gel. But uh, after that, he goes back to the grandpa's house. Uh, uh, He also, on the train, he mentions that over 10 years, he was told that line of, like, don't have friends, don't have enemies. 10,956 times. Which means that he remembered every single one because he was fucked up uh and then we also see that he's able to like switch to dumb protagonist mode because he's like he like opens the door to the bathroom at the aunt's house being like ha oh there's nothing here okay he's just trying to make an awkward moment for people like which is like a (laughs) japanese thing that happens and then he takes a shower and then he's like standing there naked in the shower and his niece opens the door and is like oh it closes the door and he just laughs about it being like i was the event that time Ooh. (laughs) fucking hilarious yeah that shit went over my head i didn't really understand that uh it's just because like a thing of like when you go to your childhood friend's house or like a relative's house and like all the like like h like hentai doujins or whatever like they'll always open the door to the bathroom and see like a saucy moment or whatever Mm. and so he's like making fun of that being like maybe an event will happen and that's why he did it to the sister because he knew what door was the proper door and he's like ah gotcha (laughs) You know, and so he saw her awkward fucking shirt mummy <laughs> mode. Uh, but yeah, so he goes back to his aunt and uncle's house. Yeah, he's just chilling outside, or like reflecting on everything. <laughs> One of those fucking monsters just rolls up. <laughs> yeah, and, and he's, he's alone. Yeah, he's alone. Miles he's, from the princess. Yeah, he's in the boonies. And uh, he tries to attack it, 
with his domain shit. Yeah. It, it makes a scratch. Yeah. And he's just like, I can't fucking beat it. Because he even tries his best. He picks up a rock and then, mm. like, tries to, like, make it so the rock won't break when he slams it into it. And nothing. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to die. <laughs> and yeah, he's just running. And uh, he's, he's like, runs for 30 minutes straight. Yep. And he's like, this thing doesn't get tired. It's just going to keep following me. And it even obeys traffic laws. <laughs> like, so well, he's like, I can't trick it to get hit by a car. Fuck. And uh, he's Does he like, pass out. From yeah, running. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it like it hits him, it like tries to hit him, and he dodges it, and I think it may may graze him or something. Yeah, he like falls off something. And I he think. rolls down a hill, and um, when he, he passes out, in, in his like pass out state, he has a dream where he's talking to the princess. The, yeah, the princess. I think she has a cloak on, yep. and there's a door. Yep, there's a weird door. It kind of reminds me of the Full Metal Alchemist scene, mm-hmm. and she pretty much tells him like. You can beat him, and if you beat him, I'll give you a kiss. That's <laughs> all the motivation he needed. Yeah, but here's the best part. When he leaves that area, he doesn't remember what happened. So he gets back, and he's like, I can't die. But he doesn't know why he can't die, but uh, he still remembers the feelings of the dream, hmm. but he doesn't remember the information. Yeah. So he's like, I can do this. I know I can do this. Like, the, the princess believes in me, which is true. But he doesn't know why she feels like, you know? So it's like, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, He's a smart motherfucker here. Yeah, he, he goes to a cliff, goes down the cliff, because he has his telekinesis shit, so yep. he can safely get down there. And the thing tries to jump off the cliff, and he, like, fucks the way it was landing. Yeah, he makes he, it land he, on his head, he I think. He grabs its foot in midair and then just rotates it, because when something's in the air, you can just rotate it, like, easy peasy. Yeah. And it just fucking slams its head into the ground. And cracks. Yep. And he's he, his fucking dick is huge after that. He's like, I fucking he's, beat it. He's so turgid. <laughs> he's like, I can beat these things. Fuck these things. And uh, after, that, after that, he goes back home, right? Yeah. And, um, and everything's pretty normal. Yeah, everything's pretty normal. And <laughs> he talks to the princess. and, and does Because I, I, he doesn't get the kiss, right? Yeah. Or he remembers that she owes him a kiss, but that's the dream version of her. Yeah, it's like something like that. He remembers that he's like, there's something with her that I'm supposed to get. And he's like, that's weird. That doesn't make sense. She never said anything. Yeah. And uh, him and the princess are just hanging out. I think he tells her he beats her. And fucking my boy walks comes in. Yep. I don't know his name. The, uh, she don't know me. Yeah, the dude with the dog. <laughs> I think like he like comes in and he like lifts the princess's skirt. Yep. Or something, and they're like, fuck you, you can't do that. And he and she instantly goes into battle mode and just tries to fucking swat his ass like a fly. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. And he, he just dodges everything. And then his dog comes, and his dog is like, yeah, I'm the dog knight. And does, doesn't he know the lizard? Yeah, he's but like, the lizard Noi, doesn't up? know him, because the lizard's memories are gone, right? No. I no. think the lizard's, like, faking it? Oh, is he? I thought it was. I thought it was like, I thought that's what it, I read. Is that like the lizard's like, oh, Noko the dog knight. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I remember whatever. And Yuji's like, what do you mean you remember whatever? No, he said, yeah. And after he says, they're all, he says, I remember, but I don't remember. Mm-hmm. So, like, kind of like they're faint. So I don't, he could be faking it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, uh, he the dog comes and everything. And, Oh, I think the, I'm mixing it up with a later scene. Yeah. Um, the dude pretty much says, like, I'm a knight and you guys are weak, but I'm going to help you get better. Yeah. Come spar with me anytime you want to. Yeah. The, and and Yuhi, Yuhi to stop the fighting because Noi's like, if, the, if she connects, he's dead. Yeah. And he takes the dog hostage and, like, holds his domain to the stomach and is yeah. like, stop or I'll kill him. <laughs> and... And Shinonome goes, huh? And gets kicked by her full strength. And he just, like a baller, does a backflip and lands on top of a building. And yeah. that's when he's like, y'all suck. And but the I'll dog the ya. dog fucking <laughs> talks so much shit. It's like, this is the best you can do. You're nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do this to a real monster? <laughs> the, the kid's just like, fuck you. Yeah, he's, I did what I had to. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> and, uh... 
after that, I, the princess just like gets pissy. Yeah. But he goes to sleep and gets a kiss. Yep. He goes into the dream world and they have another talk because they're like, he's like, what do you think about the sh- the dog night? And she's like, I don't know, fuck. And he's like, it might have to. He might be my enemy. I don't know. He's too strong. This dream shit is a. Uh, I'm worried about it because it makes me think it may be two different versions of the princess. Yeah. Because they wouldn't be showing us these dreams if it wasn't super important. Right. So. Yeah, because they've shown him, what, like four times now? And she has a cloak on yep. in those dreams. Mm. So but Yeah, so he gets the kiss. And then in the next morning, she looks at him and she's super embarrassed. Because she's like, why am I embarrassed looking at him? This is, what the fuck? Because neither of them really remember the dreams. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, she, because you fucking smooched him in the dream. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> and she's just like, oh god, I can't look at him right now. Let's go to Sheena Nomad. She's like fucking... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, I think on the way there, uh, they run into the dude again with the dog. Yeah. And she she takes him up on his offer to practice. But, of course, the fucking kid doesn't because yep. he's a lazy piece of shit. And uh, after practicing, she still can't hit, she still can't hit him. Yeah, because she's using, like, a stick, right? Yeah. Like a rotten stick so she doesn't <laughs> kill Oh, him. my God, the stick, dude. Because he takes the stick from her. He throws it. And the dog instantly goes and catches the stick. And then there's a frame where it realizes, ah. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> he, he stops. And everybody's looking at him. <laughs> He's embarrassed from catching the stick. And then, and then it's great because the next panel is just a good dog owner where he runs up. And he's like, oh, good dog, good dog, good dog. Yeah. And he's just like rubbing his fucking stomach. And the dog's like, don't do this. Stop. I'm a dog knight. I'm not, I'm not a dog. I'm not. Damn it. Oh, and he keeps calling the dog Noko. Oh yeah, and because the dog's name is Ludo, and mm. he constantly is like, "I'm not Noko. My name is Ludo, fucker. Like, mm. stop calling me Noko." And even when he's petting the stomach, he's like, "Oh, good dog, Noko." <laughs> um, there's also a good scene. This is the scene that I was remembering where uh, Yuhi asks him. He's like, "You said you remember Noi. Why did you say that?" And the dog's like, "I don't know what you're talking about. Did I say that? Who knows?" And Yuhi's like, "This fucking scumbag. They're not fucking telling us everything." Like, they know shit that they're not telling us. Mm. So it's not Noi that said he didn't remember, like, or what I said, where he's like, I'm fucking playing coy. It was Noko. Mm. Uh, or L- Ludo. Where he's like, mm, I don't know. Fuck you, Yuhi. Why do you think I should tell you dick? Yeah, he doesn't respect, respect that kid at all. No. Because in, in this, while uh, Asahina is practicing with the dog knight, he gets in a little fucking scuffle with the goddamn dog. <laughs> like, he, he, like, he's like, oh, you piece of shit fucking dog. And it's like... <laughs> Dude, you're a college student. You can't get in a fist fight with a magical <laughs> dog. Like, it's not even a tough looking dog. It's like a goddamn sheep. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. After that, they go back to breakfast at the princess's house. All of them. Yeah. And the older dude sees the uh, the sister. Yeah, and he's like, "I love you." Yeah, he's like, "She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen." She's just like, oh, you got another freeloader, huh? <laughs> yeah, and he gives her a business card. Yeah. He's like, I'm the best. Hello, thank you. And I don't think much important happens after that. There's there's one good thing, because uh, there's a moment where that's when you he's like, I might have to kill the dog knight. And he's like, oh, shit, I, I didn't let my bloodlust, like, I didn't hold that shit in. I just angrily looked at him. And he turns around and he looks at you, he and he's like, "Oh fuck, that was some pretty nice anger you were showing towards me. <laughs> you might be stronger than the princess if like we went toe to toe." And that's the second person that's like the princess and him have both said, "You've got more chutzpah than the princess." Mm. And it's like, it's kind of like a Mega Man X situation, right? Where Zero comes in and beats Vile, but he's like, "X, you're strong. You could be stronger than me." And you're like, but Zero, you beat the fuck out of this dude that I couldn't even damage. There's no way I'm going to be stronger than you. And you're like, but he believes in me. (laughs) You know? So both the princess and the dog knight, who are both, what, magnitude stronger than Yuhi, are both Mm -hmm. like, you've got it in you, dude. You can fuck. (laughs) (laughs) But Yuhi's so in his own shit that he doesn't even catch that they're both, like, kind of repping him, you know? Because, yeah, like you said, uh, the dog knight's like, you can come train whenever. And he kind of wants him to because he's like, you can get better, dude. Yeah. Like, get get buff. Get big. Come to my gym. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he has to go over his fucking Grandpa shit. Grandpa shit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, after that. Um... 
Yeah, he has a weird moment where it looks like he has, like, a vision of his dad or something. Because after that moment, Shino, Shinonome, the dog knight, walks away. And then kind of, like, the side-by-side to the dog, or, like, uh, the crying Yuhi on the train, there's another dude in a suit. Oh, that's supposed to be his dad? I don't know. I think it is. It has a similar hairstyle to, like, what Yuhi has. Oh, I didn't know that. It's, like, dark hair, but short. Mm. So, yeah, uh... The dog night guy gets a job being a janitor at the college because I guess he has nothing better to do. Yeah. Which is weird. Yep. And, um, he's like a jack of all trades. But he also finds out that the girl t- teaches at the college anyway. Mm-hmm. So he- he's cool about that. And um, <laughs> the you, he's talking to the, the teacher and she's telling him about the student that she like uh what tutors or something yeah or like she she sees her advisor she's an advisor to him and she's like yeah he's a he's a really good he has a weird smile and they show a smile it's all like shark shark teeth teeth. yeah and um he sees the dog night guy cleaning up and he he starts telling him he he asks him where he is because he knows that's his brother and the, the dog night is like oh I don't know, he might be off in Asia on a journey or something. I don't know. I don't keep up with him. I don't know where he is. Yeah. And then he's, he, he, he mentions that the girl is looking for him. That's why uh, he's asking about him. And the next panel is him gone. <laughs> he, he, you see him running, <laughs> just like full sprint down the street. Yeah, cause, like, she was looking for me? <laughs> yeah, because he's just like, I, I know where my brother is. I'll just talk shit. I'm going to go find him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's so good. <laughs> It, uh, oh, I, there, th- is this also yeah this is the chapter where he comes up and he's like hey tell me more about your sister and they're like uh no you fucking weirdo and he's like oh i dropped this book of coupons for a bunch of free meals and asahina tries to grab oh, it yeah. and he like picks it up yeah. and looks at her and she's like i do not think she's currently dating anyone and he tosses her the coupons <laughs> and it's just like yeah that's that's you nailed it <laughs> like, yeah i think the chapter ends with uh, y- Yuri, y- Yuhu, Yuhi, Yuhi, going back home, and the both the dog knight and his dog are in his, <laughs> in house, his house, and they're just chilling. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" And they're like, "Oh, we're just here chilling." And I the dog, DVDs. yeah, and the dog starts to pee on stuff. He's like, "This is now mine." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "I know that that's not real, but fuck you." <laughs> uh, and then and then Noi and Yuhi have a really good moment. Do they? Uh, because uh. Because they, they're, they're watching the dumb anime, right? And the girl's like, oh, you know, when you hit me, it really, really hurt. And uh, Noi looks at Yuhi and he's like, when I hit you with my tail, did it hurt? Because he, like, earlier he hit him with the tail being like, you gotta stop these fucking murderous thoughts, dude. Like, you can't do that shit. And then Yuhi picked him up and, like, fucking shook him upside down again. Because he was like, you piece of shit, stop hitting me. <laughs> and uh, Yuhi's like, yeah, it hurt. Did it hurt you when I held you up by your tail? And he's like, yeah, it did. And then the next frame is them just kind of both looking at, like looking ahead. But it's clearly like that they shared a moment of like, fuck, yeah, I I should probably stop kind of beating on you <laughs> as much. Like, I, I, I'm not a bad dude. So, yeah, fuck. And it's like a nice, like, shared moment. Between One interesting them. thing also is uh, the dog night guy. Um, he watches uh, an- Magical Girl anime, mm-hmm. and him and the princess geek-, geek out about it. Yep. And he tells you he you should watch it too, so you can have something to talk to her about. Yep. And you he takes that, and he'll he'll do what he will with that information, but mm-hmm. he's trying to help him. Exactly. Like yeah. Shinonome is just a good fucking dude. Yeah. Like, uh, there's another thing that I wrote down that I didn't say. Uh, when the princess meets him all the way back in chapter two at the church, at the school, mm-hmm. she says something really weird because she looks at him and she's like, uh, cause at the beginning of the chapter, she was like, do I know you from somewhere? And he's like, no, I don't know. You probably just saw me around town. But when she's at the school, she's like, I remember exactly where I met you before, but you don't remember. And that's okay. It doesn't matter. And then she goes up to the roof and it's like, well, God damn it. Where the fuck has she seen him then? Dreams, I guess. Maybe. But it's like, who knows? Because she's like, I know. You don't. Don't worry about it. And it's like, what the what the fuck is that shit? Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. That was, that was pretty much the 10 chapters. Yeah. Um, it's cool so far. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's it's one yeah. of those things, too, where, like, it gets super... Like, it, it's going to get more serious, because obviously these yeah. things aren't going to be shitty clay dolls, like, that suck right. forever. <laughs> oh, they're not going to look derpy anymore? Yeah. 
Yeah, they, they, it, it's very kind of like video gamey, where of course the level one enemy is a shitty slime, but by like level what, 12? Who knows? It might be a fucking tank, you know? Like, mm-hmm. they're gonna get tougher looking. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I super like it. I, yeah. I remember back in college when I was reading this, I was like surprised because every character feels like a real person. Like, they're really well written as people, mm-hmm. which I feel like you don't see a lot in shonens because it's like naruto doesn't feel like a person he feels like a protagonist sure you know and it's like uh hell's paradise doesn't do it because like all the characters there have their own goals and have their own everything Hmm. and they're not all necessarily like that's good that's evil it's like i don't know man i'm living yeah you know like life is difficult don't don't tell me how to do stuff and it's like, yeah, that's a, that's a good way to write a character mm. when they are believable and fucking real. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Believe it. I'm super excited. You guys ready for ending questions? Of course. Always. Sure. <sighs> what do you think The Rock is doing right now? Bad shit. Swimming in money. No, so like seriously, what do you think he's doing right this second? Probably writing his next rap verse. <laughs> uh real talk i bet he's working out he's in cali right now so he's like a couple hours before us it's about noon he's probably working out seeing those muscles i think he's probably working on some movie right now yeah. that motherfucker never stops working yeah that dude also has a fucking mobile gym so <laughs> have you seen the pictures of his truck <laughs> He has like a, a he has van a or something. Semi truck of workout stuff that he takes around with him when he has to go to movies for longer than amount like an amount of time. That makes sense. And if you can afford it, why not? Exactly. And like it, for those muscles, that's how he makes his money, kind of. Yeah. yeah. You know. So like, yeah. He gets paid to look like that. Exactly. Yeah. So it, you can't just trust that the, you know Joe blows down the street is gonna have all the shit you need to work all your muscles. <laughs> like you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Rock's a good dude. All right. Uh, thank you for taking time out of day to listen to us. I appreciate it. You're the thank best. you so much. We love you all. Except for you. Yeah, you Dan. know what you did. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 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 uh. Yeah. Love you, babes. 